Hi, everybody. It's Thursday, the 24th of March, and it is uh, the onset of the Sweet 16. Gets underway with four games tonight, four games tomorrow. Going to be pretty exciting. It's been a great tournament so far. Jim Feist is here, and I'm Dave Koken, and we welcome you aboard to ProLine. We're going to look at one of the tournament matchups as BYU uh, battles Florida. Uh, we've also got an NBA game that we, well, actually, you know what, Jim? We, we, we're going to talk about this New Orleans-Utah game, but Utah's got a slew of injuries in the uh, and we really don't know the status of some of these guys. Uh, Devin Harris is questionable. Kirilenko's questionable. Uh, you know, it's tough to it's really tough to analyze a game when you don't know who's going to play. The line's going up to four and a half, so we're going to kind of just avoid that one because, well, I, I guess the, certain times the best move is to just stay away from a game completely if you don't know who's going to be on the basketball court. And it's one of the one of the strengths of the. Uh the the better is to pass when he doesn't have the information. Now, if we come up with information that we gives us an edge, of course we'll fire. But right now we don't. That's the same here. Uh, so we will look at the BYU Florida game. But before we do that, let's tell you about what we've got uh, going on tonight. And actually, this is not just for tonight for you, Jim, because you got a you got a dynamite special that encompasses the entire rest of the season. Absolutely, Dave. It's round of 16, and one of these big games, by the way, is my tournament game of the year. Now, you can cash in with me on this big game. As I said before, these big game of the years have always been money. We've been doing this a long, long time. Uh, every once in a while, we hit a bump in the road, but for the most part, high percentage play, high investment on my part. I usually win money with these things, and I want you to get on it as well. Now, Plus, the rest of the college and pro basketball season and the big tournament game of the year, all for just $49. The game of the year and all my executive service winners straight through the NBA championship in June for one low price, plus the opening week of baseball is a free bonus. Let's pound the man. Let's get on these monster games over the next two months and make a lot of money. Make the call to one 866 841 1655 right now and start winning today. That's the rest of the college season, the rest of the pro season, and my tournament game of the year, all for one low price, $49. Call 1-866-841-1655. Pretty strong, and of course, you can get a free play from Jim every day. It's easy. All you have to do is text WINNER, W-I-N-N-E-R, to 31-31-31. Uh, and, and within seconds, you'll have your free play back. Same thing with me. All you have to do is text my last name, Kogan, C-O-K-I-N, to the same text number, 313131, 31, and you get back a free play in a matter of seconds. Now, that, that's a, an awesome offer for Jim because it's going to give you just a load of action and lots of winners for an extended period of time. I've just got one game tonight. I think it's a good play, though. It's, this is a window play in my personal service, which means it's, it's a high-end play. Uh, this is the type of game we charge as much as 500 bucks for. Tonight, $10. It's on the San Diego State-Connecticut game. And all you need to do is make one phone call, and I'm going to give you this game for 10 bucks. And again, this is every one of my big players that I've got on the service is getting this game and is being told to go fire on it. I like the game. $10, 1-866-841-1665 is the number to call. That's 1-866-841-1665. It's real simple. These are two awesome offers. One big game for me tonight. Jim's going to have a ton of big games and lots of action, including basketball and baseball. You take advantage of these offers, you're going to make money. Uh, one other thing to tell you about before we uh, get to the game, if you haven't downloaded it yet, uh, if you've got an iPhone, it's not compatible with the other phones yet. Hopefully that will be taken care of. Soon enough, but if you have an iPhone, well, this is completely free, and it gets you the scores, lines, matchups, all the pertinent information. It's called My Vegas Odds, and all you have to do is go to iTunes or to the App Store and download it. It's 100% free, and again, it's called My Vegas Odds. All right, here we go. Uh, we've got BYU and Florida matching up tonight in one of the Sweet 16 games, and here you have. Uh, well, I think you. What I think you've got in this game is a conflict in styles. And that is going to have a lot to do with who wins this basketball game. Uh, BYU 
We saw what they did. We saw what they've done all season. They like to push the ball, get out, shoot threes in transition, make things happen out there. They want a quick pace. And you saw they, they just absolutely ran Gonzaga out of the building over the weekend. They, they got their pace, and Gonzaga could not stay with them in that game. Florida cannot let that happen. If, if it does, they're in trouble. So what we're going to see is Florida doing everything they can to try and get BYU out of that style of play. Now, Florida is, is capable of running. They're not a bad team at it, but they're better in this matchup by forcing the tempo down a little bit. Uh, I think that's the, 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 the play to look at here because you don't necessarily have to have the right side in terms of the point spread to catch the winner in this game. I don't think there's any question that Florida is, we know what they're going to try and do uh, in terms of their defense. We know what BYU wants to do as well, but I think Florida is good enough to at least take BYU out of that aspect of that game. Jim, I'm looking at this game to stay under the total. Uh, it's not like it's not going to be a crawl, but I, I think the uh, the under is the way to look at this game. Well, you know, Dave, I, I, I gotta, I, I might have to argue with that position a little bit. Um, the Cougars games, I mean, they've been 49-22 over the total in the last 71 games. I mean, that's that's an amazing number. And when you look at Florida. You know, I know they play great defense, but lately they're they're nine and one over the total in their last ten games. And the way that Fredette and company are pushing the ball, this could get into a very high scoring game. And I think you saw the spread on this one forty six up to one forty nine. Yeah. Uh, now there is a point at which you know the line loses all its value. So you may be right. That the line, the, the odds makers obviously felt 146 was the right number. Now the number is up three points. That's a big difference. So you might be right in that respect, Dave, or you can go back to last year's game. Well, that was a double overtime game still. <laughs> 99 to 92 between these same two teams. It was 75 75 in regulation. So that kind of gives you an indication of the tempo they played last year. Uh, you know, the, the, for that, I mean, if he has a, an, an average night or a good night, it's going to be hard to beat BYU. Uh, if, if Brandon Davies being out is something that Florida, who's well coached and they have some stars themselves, uh, can take advantage of, uh, this might be a game for Florida to squeak in. But when I look at the stats of this, now granted, Davies being out, we know he's not, he's not going to play anymore there. Um, some of this has to be modified, but when you top, play the top RPI teams, the top 50, Florida was 11 and 3 against them and, and, uh, BYU was 7 and 2. The top 25 teams, Florida 6 and 3, BYU 4 and 1. Very, uh, very common numbers here. You, your RPI for both teams, BYU is a 6. Florida is an eight. Strength of schedule goes a little bit to Florida or ten, and and BYU is a thirty-one. It, there's a there's a lot, tremendous similarity between the clubs in in their performance, what they've accomplished. Um, I think the spread is a Florida three is pre- probably and predominantly because Brandon Davies is out, and uh, they may be overrating that because they have really bounced back lately. After making a few adjustments, they've bounced back lately to um, to play very well. And like you said against Gonzaga, they were awesome. Uh, but that it, that comes down to for Dad. He's not. It's not a one man team. But if he's not hitting, obviously the team the team's going to be in trouble. But I, I'm leaning towards uh, BYU, and I and I would go the opposite way because of the trends of pushing the ball like they like they like to. Uh, I, I would lean over. I know one thing, it's, it's a great coaching matchup. You know, we've seen Billy Donovan said, well, he's, he's won two national titles, so obviously the guy can coach. And Dave Rose is one of those under-the-radar guys because BYU's out here in the Mountain West, but <laughs> he's a really good coach. There are rumors, by the way, that Rose is going to leave BYU and take the Utah job. Uh, Utah, of course, heading into the Pac-10, whereas BYU, it's, it's one of the weirdest things. BYU is, is actually going down 
in terms of their conference next year. They're leaving the Mountain West. They're going to be in the West Coast Conference in basketball. And the West Coast Conference isn't bad, but it's not as good as the Mountain West. So kind of a weird situation. And I'm not sure that you know, there are also rumors. And again, I can't, I can't address this as being a direct information. But from what I gather, Rose wasn't real happy about the fact that Davies was forced to uh, uh, not play anymore because of the, uh, the honor code violation. And it's interesting to note, I've never seen this before, where Davies was dismissed from the team, but he's still with the team. He is traveling with the team. You'll see him on, on the bench tonight wearing a shirt and tie. So I think there's something to those rumors that once this is over for BYU, whenever it ends, that Dave Rose could possibly leave uh, to uh, take the other school, the in-state school's job, which is going to be a more prestigious job now. So it's kind of a strange thing. I don't know that it impacts this game at all. It's just interesting information. All right, let's uh, remind everybody that, Jim, are you going to say something? I don't, I don't believe it impacts this game at all. I think that, you know, you're dealing with the legacy, the reputation of the coach, the, the legacy for the players. They're going to come out there and give it 110% or more. And, and yes, I, I find it strange. Everything about what BYU has done in the last several months is kind of strange to me, but the kids know the honor code. They sign the agreement when they go there. So, you know, they, they should live up to that. It's a responsibility to live up to your agreements. We may not agree with the ideas, but that's the way it is, and they did that. And and Rose knew that, too. He knew what those honor code agreements were, so he may not like it, and he may choose to leave. What I don't understand is the direction of, of BYU, why they are changing conferences, going to a lesser I don't, I don't get that. There must be a lot of money involved oh, somewhere God. there. It's, well, you know, we found out. When, when these dollars have gotten released, basketball is fun, but it doesn't pay the it doesn't pay the uh, it doesn't put the food on the table. Let's put it that way. As far as right. uh, the revenues go, it's all about football and BYU. They make a lot of money in football. <laughs> They're going to play an independent. ESPN is going to be doing all their games. Uh, they basically said, you know what? We really don't care that much about basketball, uh, and, uh, and so they may lose their coach over it. But but right now. BYU is the Sweet 16. They're still playing. They got a chance to win the whole thing. And how would that be uh, uh, if they went out uh, as national champs? And, uh, believe me, any of the 16 teams that are still playing have a chance to win the national championship. You can't look at this and say, "Well, no, you know, come on, there's a big difference in Ohio State and this team." We saw it last year. B- uh, Butler, which is still playing, by the way, Butler came within an inch, an inch of winning the national right. championship. So it's going to be very exciting. Make sure you take advantage of the offers that are out there for both of us so you can get on the right side of these games. Mine is for one big play tonight on the Connecticut-San Diego State game, $10. And this is a game we sell for big money. Uh, you can get it for $10 by calling 1-866-841-1665. And, Jim, I have 49 bucks a small investment, especially when you consider how much you're going to be giving all the callers. Well, I mean, you're talking about a ton of plays. You know, college and pro basketball season right through the NBA championship in June. Monster number of plays for $49. If you broke it down, it's probably about 20 cents a play. <laughs> I mean, I'm being facetious, but it, it, it's very cheap per play. So why wouldn't you want to get on this? We have been winning. We have been red hot all season long. And my tournament game of the year goes this weekend. So all of that is included. Just call 1-866-841-1655. And as Dave said earlier, if you want free winners each day, text WINNER, W-I-N-N-E-R, to 313131, and we'll send that play right back to your cell phone each and every day. And don't forget, the rest of the season, 49 bucks, 1-866-841-1655. And again, my free play, basically the same thing, just a different word. Uh, instead of winner, you text Koken, C-O-K-I-N, 313131. 31. Just do it both each day. It's, it's two text messages, and if you're on an unlimited plan, it doesn't cost you anything anyway, and uh, you'll get back the free plays right away. We'll come back, and we will do it again on uh, Friday, as the NCAA uh, tournament will be down to 20, well, actually, it'll be down to uh, 12 teams. Uh, the terrific 12, by the time we get into this tomorrow, Good luck tonight, everybody. Take advantage of the offers. We'll talk to you tomorrow on ProLine. See ya.